Hi, my name is Kate Verdi, and you're watching YCTV. In this month's Career Corner, I'm here with Lieutenant Colonel Sear, a retired military member of our community. Good afternoon, Kate. My name is Greg Sear, Lieutenant Colonel, retired, prior Army, 29 years, and I currently work at Humphreys High School Junior ROTC program. Hmm. Well, to start off, what is your favorite animal? Favorite animal? I'd have to say the cheetah. The cheetah? And why is that? Well, besides being the fastest animal on the planet, it's also pretty graceful. I like that. And the fact that before it makes its attack, it never has to stretch. Oh, very true. How does somebody get into your career field? Well, that's a little bit, uh, it's a little complex <laughs> because unlike a a kid in high school basically saying, hey, I want to be a junior ROTC instructor. So it goes through four years of college and then finds a job. Doesn't work this way. You have to first pick a branch of service, Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, and then do 20 years of honorable service, retire honorably, and then seek out a junior ROTC instructor position. Mm. So what does a starting salary, salary look like in your career field? Well. I work for Dodia, so it's a little bit different than the way it's designed, uh, which on the state side, you would pretty much make exactly what you were making on active duty uh, at the time of retirement. So whatever that pay is, that's what you would make. Now for Dodia, it's a little bit different because they st stay strictly to the pay scales based off of education level and based off of... Um, years of teaching experience. So for me, I had six years of college teaching experience as a senior Ar Army ROTC instructor, so I brought that to the table. But starting salary for Dodia Army ROTC instructor would be uh, roughly 39000 with a straight bachelor's degree. Wow. <laughs> well, what can you tell me about a day like in the office, or in this case, in a classroom? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, my day does start off in the office and basically getting a flag detail ready to uh, raise the colors, the Korean and the American colors on the school flagpoles. Once that's done, I'm either going into a planning session or I'm going into the classroom to teach. Uh, this week we are doing rifle instruction or marksmanship instruction, and next week we will actually shoot. Um, the cats will be able to shoot air rifles on the indoor range we have at our facility. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, what can you tell me about the importance of your job? Importance, re importance is relative to the person. I mean, to somebody else's job might not seem that important. For me, I think it's very important. I think that uh, Master Sergeant Loken, my counterpart at the high school and I, we basically teach, coach, and mentor these kids and get them ready to become young, responsible citizens of society and future leaders of this great nation. That is very true. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your occupational field? Very rewarding. Um, again, you know, when you sit, when you're standing in the classroom teaching or when you've taught several lessons or engaged the kids in a planning session for a ceremony, um, and then, you know, you finally see the light bulb come on, like they get it. it it's, it's very rewarding when they, <laughs> when they finally, you know, are able to bring everything home and make uh, a, a uh, like our military balls coming up, make that happen, and they're the ones that plan it and conduct it and execute it. And when they when they finally and all the pieces come together, very rewarding as an instructor when when they are able to do that themselves. Well, <laughs> for all those who are interested in joining your ROTC, where can we look you up here in Humphreys? You can basically look me up at the uh, high school administration office, uh, Humphreys High School, that is, and you can and they will contact me either directly and transfer your transfer you over to me or I will get back in, in contact with you. Hmm. Well, would you like to give a shout out to your cadets? <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to all the cadets and thank them for each and every day that I'm able to teach them because not only am I teaching and hopefully they are learning something from me, I learn something from these cadets every single day I go to school. Well, thank you for being in the show and we'll see you next month in the next Career Corner segment. Oh, my God.